are back, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna cast the semi final Tech 4 versus Riser. Yeah, damn, we're already in the semis, damn. Alright. Yep. The other semi is uh, Grip versus Mr. Stork. Mm -hmm. uh, the, uh, they wait, they're going on with that, right? We're not gonna be able to cast that. They're going, they're going on with that for the sake of right. time. So then we'll just uh, cast the finals after that, then I guess. Correct. There you go. So, um, let's see if we are ready. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, Riser shouldn't be playing Terran because I'm sure Tech 4 has got a cheese or two versus Terran. I'm impressed with Tech 4. I honestly gotta say, I didn't think uh, he could beat Zerg Assassin because Zerg Assassin has taken down Riser. So technically, Tech 4 could take down Riser as well. Yeah, there you go. So I I'm gonna be really, really uh, looking forward to these games. Yeah. Riser seems although to be although AFK. PvP being, yeah, it looks like it's AFK. Although if, um, a PvP and a ZVP are two very different matchups, so. Anything can happen in a mirror matchup, you know? It's true. Let's just wait a sec for Riser. He's probably FK uh, getting a drink or something. Or derping around in chat. Oh, looks like he's back. I'm gonna get a drink, but I will. Alright, we're hopping into the semi final. It's Tech 4 versus Riser, Zerk versus Prodos. Ruins of Endion. Stream check, everything looking green and good. Yeah, Riser, one of our, our uh, I'd say, top five competitive players as well. And we're going to start out with Riser in the bottom left corner, playing in purple, all in Riser, the Protoss, taking it up versus the bottom right corner, Zerg, in orange. It's Tech 4, ladies and gentlemen. This is the semi-finals of the Fisben Cup number one, the first ever Fisben Cup in all inspiration. There you go, Fisben Cup. All right. And down here, have you introduced Protoss? I did, I'm sorry. You did? Fantastic. That's alright, as long as it's done. It's done, it's done. Yeah, Endion, you know uh, what's strong on this map? Uh, any sort of airplay, from what I understand. Or drops. Drops, very true. You know who drops a lot, apparently. Sure. Yep. There we go. Well, we'll get to go see it. He did have that Baneling drop in game one versus uh, Grip on Frost, so. Yep. yep. He, he bailing dropped every game, even in the... Uh, I've got casted the, uh, like, warm-up matches of him versus Mr. Stork. He, mm -hmm. he bailing drops. He bailing drops. He loves bailing drops, which I can relate to, because bailing drops are awesome if they hit. Right. I, I, I wonder why we don't see as many late-game bailing drops again anymore with, like, 2-0 banelings, because they kill uh, probes instantly. It's a lot easier to snipe the overlords in that case, and your supply is very important. So remaxing, if you lose too many overlords, it's going to be a bad idea. Yeah, that's true, I guess. And you can just snipe him down at that point. Um, <laughs> if you can... Go on. I was about to say, if you can force him into a kind of a melee army, I suppose, or an army that doesn't shoot up, it might be a good idea. But... Because generally Protoss armies like that are very sentry heavy and they don't have, they have more adepts than they have uh, stalkers. Yeah, and uh, the meta is actually leaning towards Phoenix opening, so that's going to shut down drops hard, right? Yeah. Um, well, actually, it's leaning towards Phoenix opening for that exact reason, to be honest. Probably, yeah. Well, um... Nothing special out of Tech 4 so far. Same on the other side of the map. We see a gateway expand into Cybercore, into Mothership Core shortly, I suppose. Yep, just speed starting up here. Probably going to take a third base, or he could throw down a Roach War and go for that funky cheese they did the first time. You mean the the, the Roachling all in thingy he did? Yeah. Well, I'm sensing a, I feel like I'm sensing a pattern to Tech 4's play here. You do? He'll play Standard, the game one. And then, depending on how that goes, he'll go from there. 
Yeah, that, I mean that's that's legit in a tournament. You know, if you if you can beat your opponent in macro, why risk it in all in? Yeah, exactly. So game so. one is generally the game where they feel each other out. Yeah. And we see an adept coming in, just one though, so not going to do huge amounts of damage. Mm -hmm. One, two, nope. One drone so far, and links are out now, queen hacking away. And this adept might just make it, ah, oh, he died. Didn't make it, yeah. Rip so adept. I, I don't think he got a scout of the main here. I mean, there wasn't much to see, but he doesn't know that, so... Yeah, he, he saw everything he had to see, I guess, because there was nothing oh, to see. Cops. See? It's just like, where is it? I don't see it. The bailing drops? No, he's got the evolution chamber and the uh, carapace on the way. Ah, okay. Is he going to sneak the slings in? Or is he going to drop from, from, from the other side, like completely over the chasm? Maybe. I mean, I think he's gonna try and he he might have tried to sneak him in if he hadn't been spotted there. Yeah. So he's been spotted, so now he's gonna have to go over there. Let's drop from home. Yeah, I'm wondering if Riser's gonna expect it, you know, because there's no Stargate. Actually, there's a Stargate. Nope, it's a Robo. There's no Stargate. There's like one Stalker in the Sentry so far. Oh, this is gonna be. This is not just gonna be. This is gonna, might. This might be a queen drop. Ooh. It is. It's a link queen drop. There's um, I think this was a popular all in when this map first came out. Yeah. But he really has to go because this, the phoenixes are coming out, and once the phoenixes are out in force, he's out of time. So he has to go. Yeah. Don't get greedy now. Take four. Go. 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 Oh, this fifth oral might just be too much. And this is not scouted yet. The, the probe doesn't see this. Nope. But the phoenix. Phoenix is going to not is not going to scout. See Phoenix. Is oh, going to oh, he's gonna get this drop in. Mm -hmm. There's only one in. stalker, two stalkers. Now it's gonna come down to the micro and the photon overcharges, but he can lift the queens to prevent the transfusers. So yeah. honestly, he should hold this. But yeah, Warpin's gonna get shut down here, so that's he's, less units. Yeah. He's gonna need some good micro to hold this off. That's a lot of queens. Oh yeah, that's like five minutes. I was expecting three, okay, so he I actually might be in a bit of trouble here. And so far for the standard macro game! <laughs> okay. Ah, here we go. Yeah, the... Um, that's about it. That should be it, yeah. That's all she wrote. Well, there's links following this up, but they're gonna have to chew through the rocks first. Should probably go with his overlords and just lift, elevator lift. Um, oh yeah, he should have run those away a long time ago, but yeah. they are all going to go down. This is going to heavily supply block him too. Also, he, he might have wanted to drop into the, the mineral line, or at least try to do economic damage. Yeah. So he's going to take the third base. Yeah, but the, the toss is already like almost done with his third, like a third done with his third. And he lost a lot of overlords there. His supply block for the next 20 minutes. Right. Oh, God. Yeah. Queen. So there's this one queen left. So that's... Yeah, whole mineral line is just exposed now. All yeah, things well... ran out of energy. Never mind. Okay. Yeah, there's a spore, but just one. Yeah, they're out of, they're out of energy either way, so... Yeah, Roach Warren coming up now, but it's too little too late. He's, he's down... Uh, He's down like 16, 17 workers at this point. And as a toss, you don't, you, you're feeling good. If you're a base up, you're feeling splendid as a toss. Yeah, I mean, really, the supply is still the story. I mean, yeah. we're seven minutes in the game and it's 98 to 48. It's. So yeah. got a, uh, a rough road ahead of them. Yeah, I mean, Tech Force floating 2,000 minerals, but he can spend it at the moment. He doesn't have Larva, he lost all of his queens, he doesn't have a macro hatch, he doesn't have a third up. You're not going to spend that kind of money this quickly. Which is only going to put the toss farther ahead. Yeah, that's actually a large part of why an attack like that is an all win because you're giving up all... Yeah. You need the queens. You can yeah. spend your money otherwise and then you're just going to lose because you're behind. Yeah, and here comes the push and uh, there, there's not much... I mean, these links are not going to cut it versus these sellouts. They're just going to chew through them like... 
Yeah. Like, uh, There's too much knife. DPS here from the, for too much to be done. Yeah, and the, the Phoenix can tactically lift up shit that needs to be lifted, like queens or stuff. And yeah. um, it's gonna be a really, really hard hold if ever possible. Force fields going down. Yeah, I'm hanging on to the better end here, but. The lift from the Phoenix, that's gonna be GG. No, oh, solid hold from Riser. Nice attack though from Tech 4. Nice, nice uh, drop. But Riser was was on top of his game. Shut it down. He did indeed. There was a there was that chance there, but unfortunately Riser just was his micro. He just managed to micro himself out of the out of the corner he found himself in. And Riser gets to veto a map, and Tech 4 gets to pick a map. And Riser vetoes Yorina. Mm. Isn't that what, uh. So that's what Grip vetoed last time. Yep. Okay. Nobody likes Yorina, man, except for the Terrans. Right. And we're gonna play on like Frozen that. Temple. It's gonna gonna be exactly the same. Vito, Urina, play Frozen. Mm. Here we go. Mm. Look, they always want us to play. See? Right, they do, man. I would have I would have entered into this, but no, well, I was at work. Right, riser is ready. I'm waiting on Tech 4 to ready up. Switching the race, switching his color, and we're ready. Hopping into game two of the semi final of the first ever Fisben Cup. And currently, riser, our Protoss master, is up 1 0 in this semi final versus Tech 4 of Zerg. And Tech 4 doesn't uh, call himself Tech 4 for no reason. He's actually sort of our technical officer, or uh, manager, in all in, in charge of uh, technical stuff that I don't understand, so I'm not going to talk about it anymore. Please, mm -hmm. Puddle, introduce our Protoss. All right, so up here in the top left of Frozen Temple, we do have the Protoss Riser. And in the bottom right corner, our champion of the hearts for this tournament, it's uh, the orange Zerg, all in stack four. Although he's not out yet, he could he's come back. Out. He did it before. Yeah, it'll be like Goku and the Spirit Bomb here by the looks of things. But yep, looks like Goku does twelve pull. Yeah, which worked That's before. Exactly. It did. Although there is um, a little bit of a different response here. The gateway is going down a lot sooner. There's no Nexus first attempt. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, Zerg Assassin went for Nexus first into Gateway, right? Which was greedy. Mm. Well, he um, on the Nexus, but he banked the 400 so that the, the building time on the Gateway was just that much slower. Yeah. Yeah, so still, a 12th pull is always hard to hold for Protoss. You have to react properly, but he will identify this now. He will know that it was at least a 14th pull, probably a 12th pull. So he's gonna do everything to prepare now. Putting down the Nexus yep, all the way, uh, anyway. Yep, I don't... Yeah, there's no there's no extra base, so he knows it's... He just must be really confident. I, th I don't think he's given this... Oh, no. Oh, the hatch trick fails this time, though. Mm -hmm. But this is not a complete wall-off. And he's gonna build the hatch anyway. <laughs> because he can. He is Tech 4. Yep, he's just gonna work on walling off the... Uh... Yeah, now it, now the pros the protoss can't wall this shot, right? Uh, no. He might. I wonder if he's gonna cancel the nexus or go for a zealot. This is not a good position to engage a zealot in. He can oh. kill like five links. Oh. Uh, that was clever. Yeah, that was really clever. Nexus getting cancelled. There's only this one pylon, and the yeah, probes are coming in. Mm -hmm. I feel That's like this is. Now. I feel like this is the correct response, bringing in the probes, kill the Zerglings as fast as you can, kill the damn drone. 
There we go. But there's no units. That was Tech Force should have engaged the probe just killing the pylon. He should have run out. That other yeah. pylon's actually out of range. Is that correct? The other pylon, yeah. The other pylon is out of out of range to power the. Yeah, but um, well, Rise has got a lot of money now to build gateways and stuff, and um, this looks like it's defended. Although there's a lot of links coming in. Yeah, it should be defended as soon as this extra zealot comes out. Yeah, he doesn't have uh, enough energy though, and the zealot might not make it to the wall in time. Yes, he does. Yeah, that's game. Yep. Two million. I mean, he is gonna see this behind. We could see a an all in followed up from here. Maybe a Ling Bane all in. He's going for the gas. Yeah, well. With the sentry coming up behind this. I think Riser is like he's he's crossing his T's and dotting his eyes. You know. Yeah, it's it's. It's 12, 10, 10 drones to, to 22 probes. So, Riser's obviously far ahead after this all in attempt of Tech 4. Mm -hmm. And he seems to be buying time for more links to come, but does he have a, 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 an Evo, Evo chamber going down to lift or anything? Okay, no. I think so. He's trying to macro out of this. That's just not gonna work. It's. it's uh, yeah, he's just too far behind at this point. I mean, if he can deny enough. It, Still, there's no you know second base for the Yeah, Bardock, true. So. But look at this. There's oh, a he's not proxy. Even taking a second base, yeah. Yeah, he's gonna foregate him. He is. Don't hate the foregate. Old school, man. Old school foregate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this ramp's never gonna fall now with these three zealots, a sentry. Uh, this is unbreakable for Zerg. Like even with banelings, there's no way you're breaking this. And the warpin's about to start. Counter attack beginning, and there's nothing, literally nothing at home for Tech 4. Yeah. He's been droning. Is... He's been droning, and. Mm -hmm. And his slowlings, they're not speedlings, so he's going to take them forever to get home. They are not going to be speedlings, and even speedlings versus sellouts, once the Zerald are in combat range, speedlings oh, are see what melting. He's, doing. he's not going in, he's not attacking, he's banking his units. So he thinks he's pushing across the map with this, so he doesn't know he's there. Yeah. That's actually really smart. And then he's just gonna run in with like eight more zealots and just be like, "All right, well, I guess." Oh no, a bunch of sentries. Okay, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's actually a smart choice out. versus links. This is rough. No force fields though. Now they come down. But honestly, he he he. All, all he needs to do is a move at this point because there's no way the Zerg is gonna stop this. Yeah, I know. He didn't see it. He didn't see it coming, unfortunately. And if he, if he had even managed to be able to build sweet three spine crawls and hold us off. Yeah. So he's going to force field the ramp and kill all the drones to second base. And even if Tech 4 doesn't leave, he's going to be down a base. Yeah. yeah. Well, this is this is the, the decider match if, if Riser wins. But Tech 4 is going to GG out anyway, not being a dick and, and, and hiding things on the map to draw out the game. Right. So props to him. Very well played from Tech 4. I was uh, quite surprised. You go, bro. Way to go. And of course, very well played from Riser, who advances to the finals, where he might be meeting Grip or Mr. Stork. I'm actually going to check up on that, and we will be back in a minute with the finals. Sounds good.